because you know you get to the point with a book where you've been working on it for so long that you, you sort of you lose focus with it and you think oh this is yeah. this a load of rubbish stuff. yeah yeah obviously i don't um, like on that I, I can't imagine i know with my novel that rowan edited tales from the green hills that's i edited that about 20 times but for, I can't imagine the, the thought process going into editing your your latest. Well, it went through a lot of transformations, yeah. uh, Terry. Um, the book that I originally started writing, I think I had it, it was called Still Waters. Hmm. I don't think any of the characters I had in the original survived. Yeah. The plot didn't survive. Then when I sort of latched onto a character and I thought this is going to be a Madeline Driscoll one, because it wasn't originally. Yeah. I then, once I got that and got the original body in the canal, mm. which is how it starts, yeah. I then had the first three chapters and I wrote those three chapters uh, 15 times. Oof. At least, and yeah. I, it, I, it it wouldn't it wouldn't go. I couldn't. No, this is no no yeah, like yeah. that. He's that got rid of him. Yeah. He changed sex. <laughs> <same name. laughs> and um, and then something clicked, yeah. and I was off. Mm. But the problem was, I then couldn't stop <laughs> because. Because it then basically, I don't know whether you um, looked at the, but it's essentially two cases. Yeah. One that Madeline Driscoll's running, one that her colleague, Inspector Soames, is running. Mm. Separate. Okay. But they come together.